Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today we're looking at the top 10 most amazing DIY projects ever. Number 10. An Alien Tank this real-life replica of an alien robot in tank form is perhaps the greatest thing to ever come out of Michael Bay's Transformers movie series. A Chinese Transformers fan who goes by the online handle of Street Legend has built this monstrous 4.5-meter-long, 2.5-meter-high bad boy based on the look of the villainous Megatron's transformation in Revenge of the Fallen. So perhaps Bay might have been onto something when he decided that his Megatron shouldn't transform into an old NES Zapper pistol like in the original cartoon. The replica is made out of real metal and weighs a staggering five tons. No word on whether Steel Legend is planning to sell it or use it to overthrow and destroy the Chinese government. Number 9. A Video Game Racing Cockpit The problem with driving games is that they just don't feel immersive enough on a PC or games console. Meanwhile, the problem with running people over in real life is the law, morality, and, well, common sense. Sure, you can always pop into the nearest arcade and try out some of the more realistic driving simulators, or you could do what Matthew Boyer did and build your own. Boyer's home gaming shell is a huge plywood box equipped with enough high-end electronics to mimic the feeling of driving a car as best as possible. It took seven months to build and took a grand total of $1,650, with most of the money going to a $540 steering wheel because Boyer might actually be a tiny bit insane. Boyer's project started out with the purchase of a normal Logitech driving wheel and sort of escalated from that as he searched for more and more realism and excitement in his hobby, which is pretty much how serial killers start out. And yes, most of us would kill a random pedestrian for a personal racing cockpit like that. The point is, all gamers are potentially dangerous psychos. Number 8. A four-person monster bike some time back, Tom Wilson apparently felt envious of all the goodwill and positive public opinion that Hummer drivers were getting, and decided that he too wanted to take up half the road while traveling from point A to point B. There was a catch. He wanted to remain eco-friendly while doing so. Therefore, he decided to build a monster quad bike for four people the size of an SUV. It was the only logical thing to do. Wilson's quad bike is a veritable Frankenstein put together from bicycle, go-kart, and golf cart parts with a few patio chairs thrown into the mix. The contraption might not exactly be practical or sane, but thanks to it, cyclists can finally have the same rights as car drivers, namely the right to be an obnoxious road hog. Number 7. A Star Wars-themed bunk bed a Gizmodo reader by the name of Jonathan had a problem. His mum moved into a new house with limited space and needed help with setting up a bedroom where her grandchildren could visit and not be bored out of their minds. So Jonathan built her a triple bunk bed in the shape of an Imperial Walker from Star Wars, because of course he would do that. Anyway, this geek wet dream took Jonathan about 300 to 400 hours to complete. It was worth it though because now his kids get to sleep in a walking tank used by an evil genocidal empire. Sweet dreams, kiddos. Number 6. A Working Submarine Many years back, factory worker Mikhail Pukhov had a dream to escape the dreary, dream-crushing reality of living in Soviet Russia. Naturally, the cold, black depths of the ocean smelled like they would be way less depressing than his current living situation, so Mikhail set out to build his own submarine in the attic of his house. His homemade submergible craft took three years to complete, while Mikhail came over a few minor drawbacks, like the time the sub's prototype sunk like a stone in a nearby river. The finished product was a 16-foot-long fiberglass torpedo that can dive 30 meters down and travel 100 miles in one day, something Puchikov has actually tested out, making many trips in his sub between Helsinki and St. Petersburg along the coast of the Gulf of Finland. However, how the vessel manages not to sink under the gravitation-defying weight of Mikhail's balls is a question that has plagued physicists for years. Number 5. A Jet-Powered Mini Monster Truck It's frankly fascinating that somewhere in between deciding to put a jet engine on a monster truck, a perfectly reasonable decision which we can all understand, someone would also decide to shrink the resulting machine to the size of a clown car. And yet, here we are. These are interesting times we live in. The Mini Mean Machine is the work of Dieter Strum, who seems to have built it for the age-old reason of why the hell not. The small monster truck is powered by an ATDI GS100 turbojet engine which can provide 160 pounds of thrust and puts the car at 700 pounds, or roughly the average weight of a monster truck fan. Number 4. A Gigantic Optimus Prime Statue So it turns out that Transformers are really big in China. 35 feet big to be exact. 
That's the size of the giant Transformer statue built by students at the Hangzhou University and now exhibited at their Innovation Park. The statue is made from discarded car parts and depicts the Autobot's leader, Optimus Prime, clutching a red car in his right hand, an obvious metaphor for America trying to assert control over communist China. Either that or a metaphor for Optimus Prime being really cool. Full disclosure here, I'm not exactly sure what a metaphor is. Number 3. A UFO In 2011, a man in China tried to build a hover UFO out of bike parts. That short bit of news tells us both a lot and demands a titanic load of questions. Already we can see that obsessing over Transformers wasn't enough to distract this man from the horrible reality of life, but the question remains whether his DIY project was just a hobby, an attempt to escape China, or a very elaborate suicide waiting to happen. Seeing as this Chinese UFO made from eight motorcycle engines powering exposed wooden propellers looks about as stable as a typical Middle Eastern regime nowadays, I'm going to go with an impressively elaborate suicide. The man is asking for our help and all we do is watch and cheer him on as his homemade suicide copter tries to take off the ground. Number 2. A Helicopter Hey look, another potentially fatal flying contraption from China! Dear God, what the hell is going on in that country that people seem so eager to risk their lives just to escape it? Oh yeah, communism, right, 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 I forgot. Wu Zongwang is a Chinese farmer who felt he had what it took to build his own flying cage powered by spinning wooden blades attached to a motorcycle engine. For some reason, he referred to it as a helicopter. Wu claims that the copter cost him about $1,600 and can go as high as 2,600 feet. But unfortunately, the government has officially forbidden him from doing test flights, citing sanity. There is still some talk about whether Wu's contraption is a hoax or not, but as we've seen so far, the Chinese people are both high on boredom, ingenuity, and a frightening disregard for their personal safety. So, hell yeah, I'm calling this DIY helicopter real. Number 1. A Roller Coaster the story of how Jeremy Reed built a working roller coaster in his parents' backyard can be best summarized the following way. He was living in Oklahoma City. That's pretty much it. I mean, it was either build a roller coaster behind the house or develop a destructive meth addiction. All in all, Reed seems to have made the right choice. His Trackstar roller coaster took four years, 2,900 board feet of pine, and 7,000 assorted screws and nails to complete. It cost about $10,000 and can reach speeds of up to 18 miles per hour, which is about 18 miles per hour faster and roughly a million times less fatal than any homemade roller coaster most of us would have made. So, congratulations on not killing yourself, your friends, and your family, Jeremy. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos every day of the week. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos that we've put together, so be sure to check those out and thank you for watching.